Trizol and tri-reagent can be used for the extraction of RNA, DNA, and protein. When using the Bullet Blender homogenizer, you can use Trizol or tri-reagent as the homogenization buffer if that's what your application calls for. However, there are a few things you should be aware of before carrying out this procedure. First, use an appropriate volume of homogenization buffer. Typical protocols call for the homogenization of your sample in a volume of Trizol equivalent to one milliliter for every 50 to 100 milligrams of tissue. Depending on the mass of your sample, this may not be possible to carry out in a standard microcentrifuge tube. Large volumes of Trizol may overload the tube, causing leakage. We recommend using a volume of Trizol no larger than 500 microliters for your homogenization in the bullet blender. If your sample size is larger than 50 milligrams, homogenize your sample in 500 microliters. Immediately after your sample is homogenized, add the remaining volume of Trizol required by the protocol and vortex by running in the bullet blender at speed 2 for one minute. When the extraction is complete, you can spin down the tubes. There is no need to remove the beads since the RNA will be in the supernatant. Of course, if you're extracting RNA, make sure to use RNA's free materials to handle your samples. Trizol reactivity. Be aware, Trizol has a known reaction with stainless steel beads, causing the reagent to turn a darker color over time. This reaction has not shown to affect the integrity of your RNA samples. That's it. If you have any other questions about using Trizol in the bullet blender or any other homogenization techniques, feel free to contact us at support at nextadvance.com and we'd be happy to answer any questions that you have.